Hey kiddo, my friend's workplace has a few shifts for an intern open if you've got the time. I'll get you some pocket money and some... It'll get you some pocket money and some real world experience. Sure, I have the time, why not? That's the way, kiddo. Who the fuck says kiddo? New expectation, perform clown ten times. Why don't you help out a little? Okay, I need money anyway. How many times did they say they wanted me to do it? Ten times, huh? Wait, it... We're interning at the carnival as a clown? Is that what's going on here? I assumed from all of her talks about astrophysics that she was like... an astrophysician. Oh... <laughs> Sell some lemonade when we're 15 years old at a carnival. That'll go well. It's the day of the big game, which is as far as which as far as you can tell seems to be every game. Sam is in rare form. As starting quarterback, he brings the team to an early lead. He doesn't play in the second half of the game after getting the home team a sizable lead. When it's all over, Sam finds you. Did you see me out there? Yeah, you were hard to miss. I know, right? There's a moment where he seems to consider something. So, uh, some of us are going to the park after the game. Want to join us, cutie? <laughs> Sam stares at you, waiting for your response. I'm gonna turn him down for calling me cutie. I, uh, got homework. Suit yourself. He heads off with his football buddies, not really giving you another look. It seems you're having trouble maintaining your parents' satisfaction. Try to schedule less entertainment and increase your mental health with other methods, such as eating meals at the diner or restaurant, or asking your parents to take you on a trip. After a week of being avoided by Richard, you finally manage to get him as a partner in class. He can't avoid you anymore. Richard? He doesn't look at you. You, uh, see Dino World 3? The Dino World is back? Uh, no. Good, it was trash. Even less dinosaurs than normal. Um, that's silly. Just when you think that's all you'll get. How was the music? Oh, it was okay, but it was mostly just rehashing the great stuff done in the other movies. Yeah, I heard Picardo was doing the soundtrack again, but he's been getting lazy, resting on his laurels. On his laurels? Look at you talking all fancy. It's a really normal thing to say. Sure it is. So, what do you want to do for the project? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking uh, we could make a little diorama, maybe some music to go with it. I don't know if that's a good idea. Do you not do music anymore? No, I do. I mean, I just don't know how well history and electronica go together. If it goes with dinosaurs, it can go with history. I guess that's true. You get the project set up, and whatever tension Richard has seems to evaporate. You don't find out what was up, but at least Richard is talking to you again. Mathematics, irrational numbers, football, football 101... Alright, we'll learn birds and bees. Let's go ahead and learn the internet. How's it going, Neil? Oh, you know. I found a Usenet group on the internet that gave me some good info on the game. You online? Sort of. The internet is going to change everything. I was writing messages back and forth with someone at MIT. It's crazy. We're all basically wizards now. Of course, it always feels like this stuff moves faster than our brains. The changing world. I'm always trying to keep up with my students. Feels like they're leaving me behind. Is that why you're trying to get back into games? Yeah, they're all really into arcade games recently. Just trying to stay up on what's getting kids into computer science, so I can relate to my kids. Most adults wouldn't even try to stay current like this. Pretty cool. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of work, though. The passion of the kids taking my classes keeps me young. At least for a bit longer. 
Soon I think everything will go full VR and I'll just be lost. Something tells me you'll manage. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. The teacher pats the arcade game he's been playing, but rather than starting another game, walks away. Alright, that made them happen happy at a plus seven. See if we can go on another vacation. Hey, can we go to China? Greetings from China. That was fun. You and Richard continue to work on the project, the subject of his awkwardness never coming up. So I uh, made this. He puts his cassette player on the table and gives you the headphones. The song starts. It's electronica, kind of club-like. It also has some odd American Stars and Stripes vibe to it. It's obviously a song he made for this project. You made this? Uh, yeah. How did you put this together? Uh, mostly wrote it out, but then arranged it on a computer in a DAW. A DAW? Digital Audio Workstation? Ooh, uh, computer? Software on the computer. It's really neat. Thanks. I'll do some of the other work too, of course. Don't worry about that, but, uh, if you want, <laughs> I'll do my part to you. Don't worry. The two of you work on the project for a while, getting the bulk of it done and ready. Alright, new skills. Human biology nervous system, computer science, computer graphics. So, brain map. Tap the uber attribute neuron to collect all visible attributes of a given type. Let's learn a bit about electricity. Let's look the nervous system. And then, we're not gonna learn pasta because I wanna uh, learn bowling and see if I can get that guy back. I met our neighbors when I was out shopping today and we chatted for a bit. They've been really busy lately and they thought they could use some help with their chores. And then I thought, maybe you could give them a hand? For free? Are they paying anything? Your parent sighs. Where did this selfishness of yours come from? Of course they'll pay you for your time. I wish you'd be more willing to help out of the goodness of your heart. I don't fucking know the neighbors. This is America. <laughs> Perform buying groceries ten times. Your neighbors have their hands full lately. Why not offer some help? I did have one neighbor that I would have helped if she needed help, but most of my neighbors were f have been fuckos. So. Okay, new expectation. Perform buying groceries ten times. What's weird is we unlocked buying groceries for the Smiths a long time ago when we were like 12 years old and now all of a sudden it's like there's a story reason for it they should have given that before that was unlocked all right perform buying groceries so let's go do that but first bowling i learned bowling uh, i want to do all this stuff there's so much stuff to do but like not a lot of time, because we got, I think there's nine turns left in the game. This is because behind my face it says nine turns exam ready in the 78 out of 100. So let's buy groceries for the Smiths. Hey, I did it properly once. Four more times? Crazy bullshit. Oh, I can go to the clothes store. Try not to look like an asshole. Uh, a little too baggy in the back. That looks fine. Yeah, we'll go with that. This do a summer look. You're older now, so the hair isn't working as, as as well. Oh, we can work as a waiter. Restaurant menu. The pinnacle of high cuisine, beef Wellington. They're out of food. Can I work at the theater? Luca Cox, semi-famous semi indie director, is showing off his new film, No Air on Venus. The movie theater is having a special guest show up after his film and a Q&A. The movie was actually quite good, if a bit pretentious. Afterwards, he comes out and talks about the industry, his career, and advice. If you want to be good, you just gotta make a goddamn good film. 
and I've made some goddamn good films. Of course, my first film, whew, you'll never see that. Some people at the Q&A laugh. However, let's get some questions from the audience. Suddenly, he points at you. Yes, you there. Um, what was one of your worst experiences on a set? All of them. Only half joking. Unlike some people, I find it all hard. Organizing, dealing with people, talking to you all here, it feels like I'm bleeding. I've always been melodramatic though. Can't stop either. The thing to keep in mind is that experiences are always good and bad. You have to ask yourself if you love it. So, advice for all you, all you young little bips. Start small, understand you're going to suck, and don't let anyone tell you you're wrong. A few more questions come after that, but the Q&A finishes soon enough. Going to the movies. Ooh, parents don't like that. Cinematography, film history. Got it. And we should be able to continue fashion the following week here. But we need to do more stuff for school. So let's do poetry. One film history and then something happy. Fuck you, mom and mom. I'm playing more paper RPGs after my slam poetry sessions. On the way into class, you see Sam with some girl you don't know. Hey, Sam. Hey, uh... The girl that Sam is with grabs him and pulls him close. He gives a bit of a shrug and walks past with her. He walks into the school without looking back. Good to know. New skills available. Physics, optics, human biology, human brain, bowling, team uniforms, cinematography, camera work. Team uniforms? Let's do it. The lad is back. The lad is back. Oh, I'm going to need this. You see the lad as you enter the bowling alley. He also sees you. Sprout! Little Sprout! Hey, buy me a hot dog! He comes over and puts his hand on your shoulder like your old friends. You buy him a hot dog from the food vendor in the bowling alley. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. He messily eats the hot dog, talking with his mouth full. Show the thing. <clears throat> this is a good hot dog. The thing. The thing you gotta remember is that a successful bowling team, it needs identity. You know? It needs a real, uh, palpable vibe. Yeah, man, it's got a vibe. If you want to walk the walk, you gotta dress the talk. You dig? Yeah, I dig. Few things are as powerful as a unified front. Yo, you do dig. Only thing more important than your shoes is your uniform. He finishes his hot dog and slurps his fingers clean. Mm. See you around, LSP. LSP? Yeah, Little Sprout. LSP, that's you, man. He pats you on the shoulder and heads to an empty lane. We got team uniforms with the lad. Life is getting good. We're growing up. We look like vitamin C, but with a little extra style. And a tan. Ah, oh, if it isn't my burgeoning fashion icon. Uh, hi again. The strange fashion designer, Elliot, starts talking to you outside the fabric store in the mall. Again. So, did you do it? Do what? Decide your favorite accessory. Go on, tell me. Sing me your heart. Uh, I mean, belts, watches, hats, seemingly normal things, I guess. Of course, the things many of us wear that don't seem to be extras can say the most about us. It's all about what kinds of things can inspire us in the world around us, or fails to in some cases. Here, look at this. Elliot pulls out a magazine he had been reading. It has an article on patterns all around us, but below that seems to be an article about him. Uh, it says you dropped out of a big show last minute. Oh, does it? I meant for you to read the... Burnout. 
nothing more, nothing less. I actually am from this town. I moved back to get away from... Elliot doesn't finish, but he waves his hand in an airy way. Of course, that was a year ago. Sure enough, you see the article came out almost eight months ago. Tell him you hide sometimes, too. I sometimes have to hide from everyone. Sometimes they're just too much. They really are, aren't they? Well, if you ever want more advice, and I'm still kicking around this old mall, don't hesitate to say hello. I won't. This time, he doesn't turn and walk away suddenly. However, he does go back to reading the magazine. New skill learned, fashion, pattern making. You enter the local diner during the off hours again. May smiles up at you. Oh, hello, if it isn't my wannabe short order cook. I was actually wondering if you had any tips on pasta? May actually looks oddly sad at that question. Oh, uh, American style noodles I've never been very good with, honestly. Well, what are you good at? Eggs! Just about any kind of egg. American, French, Japanese, Hawaiian. I can do just about any egg recipe. Especially some really delicious Chinese dishes I learned from my mom. My family wasn't too happy when I decided to open an American-style diner. Why did you? Most restaurants don't make it. I did the math, I did some research, and if I want to make it in the area, this is what the restaurant had to be. You're following your dreams. I think it's noble. You have no idea how hard it's been. Besides, I wanted to do diner cooking. I've learned so much, I'm way better at pasta than I was. Here, just a moment. She starts to scribble on one of her waitress tickets. This is just a simple recipe for some Dan Dan noodles. Try it out sometime. It may be simple, but it's good. She gives you a massive smile before getting back to work. Going home, expectations, perform buying groceries ten times, so we need to do that a few more times. All right, we got it. 200 pride points. Make them take me on a trip again. Um. Ooh, pattern making. On our way to being a designer. Okay. I don't think I've been to the theater yet. You step on a legal pad at the playhouse. Unlike most legal pads, this one actually seems to be covered in dense, thick writing. It makes your head spin just staring at it. You also see a woman running around. She's looking under things, in trash cans. You hold the notebook up and wave at her. Oh, uh, thank you. You found it. Uh, I, I need a breath. You're a lifesaver. This meeting, the meeting I need this for is in an hour. Tell me, have you ever considered politics or law as a career path? Who are you? I do like lawyer shows. Ha! <laughs> uh, yes, they are full of drama. That's the same reason I got into being a lawyer when I was young. The real thing isn't quite so glamorous, but every day you're working with the very rules of society. Tell you what, I always catch this showing. One must support the local arts. If you're around and you wish it, we can talk more. Oh, I'm Alessandra. A pleasure to meet you, but for now, ta-ta! Alessandra gives a jaunty wave and heads off, notebook clutched to her like a prized possession. Yeah, I should go around and just start talking to random 12 and 15 year old girls about their fucking career paths or what high school they go to. These people are creeps. Every single fucking one of them. I mean, granted, my character clearly looks like she's 23, but still. Stop! <laughs>